Very excited. I mean, very excited for the players. You know, when you have players that you really want, and you're kind of thinking, okay, where are they going to be in the draft? And then as the draft kind of unfolds, uh, to get Moran and Suni of where we did, I was I was surprised to be totally honest. I was, I mean, we were at the table thinking, debating upon the two as we were getting to that point, and then we went with Moran, and then uh, to be able to get Suni of after is seemed, yeah, it seemed like. You know, everything just fell into place for us uh, moving today. So you, so Sunia was one of those guys you were talking about earlier. Yeah, on yeah, I wanted, I was hoping we would get him. Yeah, and Moran, I didn't know the offensive ability and you know the hockey sense. You're thinking someone might take a chance on him. So to be able to, that's where we went with the defenseman first, and then we waited to see. I, I tried to see if I could move up to even take Suniev and. That didn't work out, and then and then he was there, so it worked out good for me. I was happy. What about um, again some skill there? Obviously, you see the high end uh, on the back end for uh, Moran, but uh, you know those numbers pop out in Penticton as well for Sunya. Yeah, I mean, you know, both guys, you're you're getting offense from the back end and, and up front, and you know, with Sunya, I got to see him even when we were in Penticton in our rookie tournament. That was the first time I went over and saw those guys. Him and Nado were very good and continue as the year went along. You know, Sometimes I get a little nervous with Suniev because he's a, he's a little fearless. When he goes to the middle, I'm like, he's gotta be a little careful, but you know, that's what I liked about him, that he was fearless and he goes to those hard areas and he wants, he's got a real knack of scoring goals, a really good shot. Three of, your four, three of your first four picks have some size. What was the thinking of going in that direction? Well, I think, you know, we just, we've been talking about, you know, you watch the Stanley Cup playoffs, not that size is everything, but you know, you see the teams that are having success and winning, and size was a big part of it. So we said if we could get bigger, that was kind of uh, something we, we targeted, even the last couple of years. But it just happened to work this year where the big guys were there that we really liked, and we were able to get them. And do you feel like the, the big guys you added have, have that skill element as well? Well, that's the thing. You're adding skill, size, skating. I mean, uh, you know, they all need to get stronger. They all need to be improve a little bit. but. You know, when you kind of look at look at the draft, and we knew it was going to be a good draft, and the players I like going in to be able to get all the play, you know, uh, to get players that we really like, and then I know Jordan with uh, Igor was, that was, he was high on Jordan's list, and he was excited to get him. So, you know, he thought we might have to step up earlier and get him to have him there. You know, in the six was was exciting for us. I would imagine you love to hear that too, though, when guys are speaking up, guys yeah. uh, across the board, around the table that are, are high on their players and making a real case for them. Well, that's the thing when you get, you know, especially as you get down in the fifth, sixth, seventh round, you want guys pounding the table, and and that's where Jordan was like, we have he's one of the youngest goalies in the draft. He's athletic. He's got high hockey sense. I mean, he was selling for sure. You know, he was he was giving me all the reasons. But it, you know, six four goalie, young like that, that uh, moves well and has a high hockey sense, can't can't go wrong. And Jaden, I'd imagine a lot of viewings there too, playing with Hansik, and then obviously some ties kind of going into Scottsdale too. Yeah, you know, another big guy that played well. His puck possession is as good as anybody I've watched this year. I mean, strong. We got to get a little bit with the pace, pick up the pace a little bit, but. You know what, you see the upside with the skill, the ability down low, the ability to, and they didn't play together. You know, I think they spread them out to kind of spread it out in uh, Vancouver. They probably played some together, but not a lot. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward and Jerome was saying, this is great, two guys in Vancouver, that's an easy trip for me. That's great, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Good. Oh, and, I, and I guess for you guys, like one of the common themes in all our chats with these guys is so many of them know each other or know people in your organization already. I, I know like, it's so tough getting guys in and getting them comfortable and getting their development fast track. Does it help having, you know, like even, even someone like Etienne mentioned that he knows like two or three guys in the organization already, you can tell them what it's like. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. I mean, you just feel comfortable coming in instead of coming in by yourself. You know what it's like when you walk into a room and nobody's nobody's a friendly face you know now you walk in you're like oh okay i got a friend and then it only takes a day usually anyways but it is nice to have that familiarity for sure does it surprise you to learn that uh, pelche was texting with him before he even got drafted for right basically right at the end of the season really no i did not know that you know I, maybe pelche maybe maybe todd knew i had no clue it's fun funny to kind of hear that now that the you know the after the fact it definitely makes it better though uh, can you describe uh, what your game plan is going to be for the next few days, obviously, with July 1st coming up? Yeah, I mean, you know, right now we're just going to be taking calls and, you know, I've talked to, been able to talk to a lot of GMs here and just 
kind of figure out the next thing. The draft's great. It's over now. <laughs> and now getting ready, for, you know, we'll be ready. The young guys coming in for development camp. But, you know, free agency coming. We don't have a lot of money. So, you know, we'll, we'll be making probably some depth moves. But that's uh, that's probably it for right for the next right, day or so. In terms of a depth move, does that include any of the guys who could be UFAs as of this July first? Well, you know, you're, you're talking to everybody, but right now, you know, with with trying to get the younger players in, it's it's going to be hard to to add anything right before uh, before July first starts. In terms of any moves, do you feel you're close on anything? No, right now I just just you know I think even like you saw in the draft the first day there wasn't many trades. It's been a it's been a real. There hasn't been a lot of movement. There's been a lot of talking, but not a lot of uh, actual hard, concrete things come our way. Are you worried at all about the fact that the fact that Lindholm is still a situation that has to be dealt with, hand to fit in back as well, that these situations are kind of going further and further into the summer? Are you no, worried? Is that something you worry no, about? No, I mean, I, I don't want to rush anything. I don't want to just make a deal here or do something that would, you know, just to do it. That doesn't make any sense. And I'm still talking, you know, with Lindy, we're still talking. Backs, we're still talking. You know, so I don't think uh, I want to rush that at all. I want to see where they really are. When, you know, I want them to know. I want to be a part of the Flames first and foremost. With, uh, just quickly, I was going to ask you with uh, Jaden. Did, uh, did you get us any scouting reports from your former teammate uh, David, or did you? He, he's pumped, pumped up. Everybody's excited. You know, I mean, that's the thing. Everybody's when you kind of with, with Jaden. It's nice because Hanzig right off the bat yeah. was like, I guess, over the moon up. You know, he was. I was getting texts from Cohen Snow. You know, he was texting his dad saying, yeah. you know, Hans is very excited about this. So, you know, it just, it makes it good. You, you want guys to be excited. You want guys to be, uh, you know, excited to come to Calgary. Qualifying offers are due tomorrow. Uh, are you able to say anything about guys who may or may not be qualified or wait till tomorrow? I, I got to wait tomorrow on that one, but I appreciate you trying to get it out of me. Always right. Uh, one last <laughs> one for me. Um, have you had any chats with Matthew Phillips uh, for a contract? We have. We've, we've been in touch with Al, and we've been working. And you know, Maddie's Maddie's in a, Maddie's put himself in a very good position. He had a great year, and he's uh, he's earned a right to kind of take his time and, and do what he thinks is best for his career. But we'd love to have Maddie back.